Hey guys, we got the Traxxas Sledge on the bench again. If you're interested in picking one of these up, check out Tiny Adventures RC. I'll put a link to their website down in the description. In the last video, we installed the Traxxas upgraded ring and pinion gears. So far, I'm really happy with them. I had a lot of great discussion in the comments about them. Some people thought that they should have been included stock. Some people think that they work good as an upgrade. Personally, I wish they would have come stock, but I'm happy to have them either way. Today, I'm really excited because we're gonna be installing these Basher Queen front and rear shock towers. These are five millimeter thick carbon fiber and they appear to be really well made. I've never had anything from Basher Queen before, but she's been making parts for a while now and she has a really good reputation for making high quality parts that last a long time. These look to be really well done. The carbon appears to be high quality. It's been finished really smoothly, so there's no jagged edges or wispies coming off them like you can get with some cheaper carbon parts. And I think these are gonna do really well. Let me go ahead and get the front tower out of the sledge and then we're gonna compare the two of these. I'll talk about the strength of them. We'll look at the weights of them and see how they hold up against each other. Removal of the shock tower is pretty easy. We just take the screws off the shocks, take those out, then remove pretty much all the screws that attach the shock tower to everything that's on the car. We take that top plate off, go ahead and pull the screws out of the front differential housing cover. Then if you have the bumper installed, you'll need to remove that. Remove the one screw out of the bottom and then it slides right out. All right, so let's compare these two. On the left, we have the stock Traxxas 6061 stamped five millimeter thick aluminum shock tower. And as you can see, I have not bent this shock tower. This shock tower is still pretty much perfectly straight. On the right, we have the Basher Queen carbon fiber shock tower. Now, if we hold these two together, we can see that the Basher Queen tower actually has more material around these outside edges than the Traxxas tower does. That means it's gonna be inherently stronger in those areas. All right, so the stock front tower is 46.6 grams. And the Basher Queen Carbon Fiber Tower is 28.5 grams, so about 18 grams lighter. That's no surprise, carbon fiber is lighter than aluminum. And even though this is a little bit bigger, it's going to be lighter. Now let's talk about strength. There's a lot of factors that go into talking about strength, and basically what I did was I compared 6061 plate aluminum to equivalent pressed plate carbon fiber. And what I came up with was a range between twice as strong for the carbon fiber to around five times as strong for the carbon fiber. Like I said, there's a lot of factors involved, but pretty much the lowest number I could find was twice as strong. Given that this is a little bit thicker in certain areas, it's going to be at least twice as strong. Now, what does strong mean? When I say strong in this case, I'm talking about tensile strength. And tensile strength is how much force can be applied to a given area before it experiences what's known as plastic deformation. There's two different types of deformation. There's plastic and elastic. Elastic means you push on it and it moves it a little, but then it bounces back to its original shape. Plastic deformation is basically, it breaks. It bends and doesn't come back, or in the case of carbon fiber that doesn't really bend at all, it just breaks. So essentially, this tower should be around twice as strong, if not more, than the stock Traxxas tower. The downside to carbon fiber is, it doesn't have very much give. So with this tower, if it were to exceed that tensile strength, it would bend, like this ear would bend, and then you could take it off and bend it back. With this, it's going to take more force to accomplish that, but once you do exceed that limit, it's just gonna snap. It'll crack and it's junk. So that is a disadvantage to carbon fiber, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal given that I haven't been able to bend this tower and this is gonna be significantly stronger. I don't think we're gonna have any troubles with it. Right, let's go ahead and get these installed and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, Basher Queen shock towers are in. Install was pretty straightforward. Didn't really have any issues with it. Just take everything off, take the shock towers out, put everything back on, no big deal. I did have one surprise when taking this rear shock tower off. So stick around until after the bash and I'll show you what that was. Now, before we go out and bash, I'd like to invite you guys to please subscribe. Hit that bell to get notified of future videos. I recently hit 3,000 subscribers, which I think is an amazing milestone. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway to you guys to celebrate that because it's thanks to you that I have 3,000 subscribers. If you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. All right, let's take this thing outside where it belongs and give it a bash.
All right, guys, there we go. Got a good bashing with this truck, and the Basher Queen shock towers are holding up just fine. No problems with them whatsoever so far. So, do you guys think this is a good upgrade? At first, I was going to say, I think it's a great visual upgrade. It's very cool if you just want something that looks better and maybe a little bit more strength. But when I took my rear shock tower off, I found this. This thing's bent like a banana. And I know exactly when this happened. I had one bad crash where I landed from about 15 feet near directly on this rear wing. This rear wing's pretty stiff. And not only did I bend this shock tower, which I didn't realize until I took it off, but I also ripped off a couple of the mounts at the bottom of the wing. I put them back on with some washers for now. Seeing this, I would say that these Basher Queen shock towers aren't just a visual upgrade, but they'll be a functional upgrade. These shock towers should be significantly stronger than the stock shock towers. And now that I've seen that I've bent this one, I'd say, yeah, for the price, I would go ahead and get these shock towers and get them upgraded on this truck. They look great. They should work great. And I think they're going to be a worthy upgrade to the stock 6061 towers. All right, guys, that's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you're going to pick up these shock towers. And let me know if you've bent your stock shock tower yet. I didn't realize I'd bent mine until I took it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.